Hey everyone, this is Imran from AllAboutAndroids.com and today I'm bringing you a ROM overview for the ASUS TF300. This is the Blue Android version 3.0. So let's take a look. Uh, this was by developer Sudo Petru and I'll be taking a look at the settings right now. Going through the About tablet and it is running the latest Android version available on this tablet which is 4.1.1 official release wise. Um, you could all of course try um, CyanogenMod 10.1 which is running Android 4.2 but taking a look it is running the official release so all the drivers are working perfectly fine there are no major bugs per se such as uh, with CM10 you have some issues with the, the camera issues with um, sometimes Bluetooth tethering not working stuff like that but basically this one has every single feature fully working so let's take a look at what changes this ROM brings so first of all we have this different themed um, tablet so the interface itself has been tweaked a bit, different icons right here, it's all colored icons on the side. Um, and it also gives you three kernel modes, so you can switch between uh, high performance to um, balance mode to power saver mode. So that would be under ASUS customized settings, system performance. So right now power save is at 1 gigahertz times 4 since it is a quad core tablet. You have the balanced at 1.3 and 1.6, which is pretty much the maximized of the Tegra 3. Now we also have these on-screen buttons right there on the side, which you can see. Uh, they're colored blue and it has a slight reflection uh, per se right there, which makes it look pretty nice uh, when you are using your device. As you can see, it's pretty snappy as well. I've restored all my apps and I'm just using the default launcher for now and I'll switch over to Nova Launcher to see how fast it is as well, like to compare the two. Um, and let's take a look at some really cool animations that come with. So if I just try to pull out the um, uh, power advanced power menu, it has these nice flight uh, animations all around. Even I believe when you launch apps, it has these uh, different animations every time you launch stuff so right here and let's see what else uh, let's go to camera for example and it does come with a couple of 4.2 apps so right now I'm running the uh, 4.2 camera app I'm not too sure if you can see it too well but I'll take a picture uh, of my keyboard right here um, all you gotta do is tap once it will touch to focus you click the big blue button right there and you also have these um, settings by simply touching anywhere on the screen, you can quickly toggle through a bunch of settings such as auto brightness, auto whiteness, switch to front facing camera for example, and uh, exposure, etc, etc. So let's go back home and take a look at that picture that we just took right there in camera. I uh, got two pictures here that was from before, this was taken right now. Pretty clear quality, you can see that the drivers are working pretty fine on here. Uh, an example is this one where the background's all blurred out while the cup of the headphone which I aimed for took a perfectly clear picture which is very nice. And also since this is 4.2 it comes with a couple of neat features such as a 4.2 gallery um, editor. You can apply a bunch of visual effects to your images. So right now I'm just going through a bunch. Um, let's say I want X process and then I want to have a white background applied right there. And I'm going to crop it out just say, or actually let me just mirror the image once it does the mirroring. Oh, it seems like mirroring is not working, so let's go back. Oh, there we go. It's up and running now. Let's mirror. Do that one more time. Hit apply. And we're going to rotate it. Let's do this like that. Hit apply. And there you have it. You could basically customize your images, hit save and it will save a different copy for you. And there we go. We have one image, the original, and this is just a quick edited image using the built-in uh, gallery features. So now let's go back to the home page and taking a look at Nova Launcher running on this um, ROM, which should be around here somewhere. Nova Launcher, I'm gonna launch this and we'll see how it performs. So I won't restore any of uh, my widgets. I'm just going to wait until it boots up properly. See here. Okay. And uh, pretty snappy so far. Not too bad. Let's go to the app drawer. Took, did take a time to load over there, but it is uh, okay now. 
pretty snappy here. Let's go to widgets. And there's some lag as usual with the widgets uh, page. But again, you won't be scrolling that fast through widgets anyways. And taking a look at the settings, over here you can see that you don't have any of the traditional ASUS settings, it's just the customized one done by the developer himself. But if you go to the settings and go to ASUS Customize, you can enable the traditional quick settings. So it just looks like this. You can switch to performance, turn on Bluetooth, etc. Brightness right here. Um, all up to you. You can choose whichever one you'd like to set up. And again, yeah, this is roughly it for the build. It is based on the latest official release of the drivers. Um, you can try the stock launcher. You can customize. You can customize it quite a bit after. Uh, you've installed the ROM, some really nice animations, nice icons, very stable build in general. Um, and if you want to have something to use as an uh, everyday ROM, I definitely recommend this one because it is different from the usual um, CM10 look or the usual um, stock ASUS uh, look. So definitely try it out and tell me how you like it. This was Imran from AllAboutEnders.com. I hope you liked the video. Please do subscribe, comment, and uh, let's see what else we could do for you guys. Get some more videos out. Thanks.